Oh snap, that's cool. Woo, this place is big. It's like I'm inside a giant globe or sphere or something. Say, say it one more time. We're proceeding at the villas. That's worth one million pesos per night. One million per night, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Sir, so <laughs> it's like, what is that? Between 15 to 20,000 US dollars a night. So this is what one million pesos per night buys. About to find out, ladies and gentlemen. It's like an extraterrestrial alien landing pad or something. What the heck? And uh, yeah, this one's huge. I don't know how many square meters there is. There. I think it's probably like 50 square. You got that black American Express card, Mia? <laughs> no? Yes, no? But uh, yeah, this place is big. It's grand. It reminds me of Las Vegas. It's super nice. Way bigger than I thought it was. That's one thing I can tell you. I've had pork lechon, clams, uh, fried shrimp, sashimi tuna, sashimi salmon. They also have smoked salmon and smoked sashimi as well. So this is a pistachio thing right here. I don't even know what this purple thing is. Those are like Oreos, two different flavors of like a, one Oreo. This is a churzo. This is a lava cake in a coffee mug thing. What's up guys? We finally made it to Okada Manila. Super excited for today. Can't wait to show you what we got coming up next. They just served us some lemonade and some iced tea and some water, which is awesome. Tastes pretty sweet, pretty tart, but uh, yeah. Looking forward. So Okada Manila is a five-star hotel rated a 4.6 on Google with over 20,470 Google reviews and it's located in Parancay City in, in Metro Manila. So Okada Manila has eight restaurants, three bars, a nightclub, and a casino, plus a spa, a mall, and an outdoor pool. There's also live entertainment and breakfast and parking are also available. Accommodations range from stylish rooms with sitting areas and whirlpool baths to plush two-bedroom suites with butlers, massage rooms, and private lifts, which also means elevators. They all have Wi-Fi, flat screen TVs and safes, as well as mini bars and tea and coffee making facilities. Later on today, you're going to get to check out the Medley Buffet, which is what Mia and I went with. And it was definitely one of the best buffets I've ever had in my life. I can't wait to show you that. This place reminds me a lot of Las Vegas and Atlantis, two other places I've been where there's like casinos that are very large and super big tall ceilings and just very grand with the lighting and everything so yeah beautiful oh that's a pretty cool elevator In our rooms, prices generally start off at 12,000 pesos per night, which translates to roughly 200 to 220 ish dollars USD per night. And this is also based off of the season and the time, so prices can go up or down correspondingly. Later on today, you're also going to get to see a deluxe room, what that looks like, and also a premier suite as well. Okada was constructed in 2016, so roughly seven years ago. There's approximately 993 rooms. The signature attractions are the Fountain, which starts at about 6 p.m., and also the Cove Manila. Some notable restaurants are the Medley Buffet, which is what we went with, the Red Spice, the Lobby Lounge, Sportsbrook Bar, Catch by the Bay, and quite a few more. You have balance for sure, guys. You can use this. <laughs> Wow. Uh, Manila Bayview. Wow, good to see you. And that's called Manila, the big dome. So, sensor. So, Wow, pretty big. That's the main thing, uh, toilet bowl. Very cool. <laughs> Say hi. Hi to Justin's vlog. <laughs> Woo, you'll be YouTube famous one day. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, is the closet? Let me show you YouTube channel, sir. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll show you. Can I uh, subscribe? Yeah. Your... Room sweet. Room. Sweet. Yes. <laughs> Pretty sweet. We're going to see the sweet. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's pretty darn big. Wow. So many places to go. Wow. Wowie wowie. Yeah, that's such a big bathroom. Whoa. So this is the premier suite. I think the last one we saw was the deluxe suite. And uh, yeah, this one's huge. I don't know how many square meters there is. I think it's probably like 50 square meters, probably like 60 square meters, judging by the size. It's like a maze, you get like lost in this place. Wow, wow. So Okada Manila was actually established by the Japanese billionaire Kazuo Okada. I think we need a few more thermostats right here. Don't think five will cut it. I think we need six or seven. The Okada Manila fountain spans 37,464 square meters, which comes out to be 403,260 square feet, and it actually cost $30 million US. The fountain was designed by a Los Angeles based firm called Wet. Ooh, that's a nice bar. <laughs> Nice. It's closed since pandemic. Oh, really? It's COVID-19. Man, that's beautiful. Sinag is a buffet restaurant. It's going to open. Since we have a meddling buffet at the per per side, we have buffet here at the coral side. This is Sinag. It's going to open. What's the best place? What's the best buffet in your opinion? Have you Medley tried? Buffet, sir. Medley is the best? Yes, sir. We awesome. Have 70 categories there. 
Uh, we have Filipino food, uh, Italian, Korean, Japanese, Chinese. I can't wait to try that out. Chinese. Uh, welcome to our coral wing pool. We have three kinds of pool inside the Okada. This is the coral wing pool, our main pool. We have swimming pool at the Coke Manila. We have two feet for kids and four feet for adults. So once you have to check in inside Okada, How's it going? Morning, sir. Morning. How are you? I'm good. Look at this Milky Way, Interstellar, Cosmo Blush. Which one's your favorite? Have you tried one of those? Yes, of course. I highly recommend and one of my favorite Interstellar. It's actually, it has some ah. alcohol in it. It's nice. a mosco base. Gotcha. I just like the movie, huh? I like the movie Interstellar. I probably got to try the drink next, so. Is what it is. Thanks for the recommendation. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Wow, it is so hot, ladies and gentlemen. Woohoo! that out wow beautiful Woo. going back into the shade I didn't bring my sunglasses so I'm gonna just close my eyes and talk to you because it's so hot and bright it's like I'm inside of a uh, Filipino oven right now thanks Philippines for the hottest day on earth apparently but uh it's all good got some water so We'll survive through this one. I can literally feel my <laughs> my skin just preparing to just wash over with sweat. But anyway, anyway. <laughs> Ooh, it's hot. My goodness. Say it one more time. We're proceeding at the villas. That's worth one million pesos per night. One million per night, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Sir, so <laughs> it's like. What is that between 15 to 20 thousand us dollars a night that's where i'm headed to straight tonight i'm gonna book one me and i are gonna have the greatest the greatest night of all time yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mia, you want to go to the one million per night villas? <laughs> no. you're paying right <laughs> you got that black american express card mia <laughs> no yes no about to find out ladies and gentlemen about to find out that's right within my budget you know that's exactly i'm, I'm trying to book 30 nights immediately so can't wait to see what they got for me Oh, you're teasing. That's worth one million per night. We one can't million, see it, Uh Why is it worth one million? We have five bedrooms inside. We have a swimming pool inside. We have a spa, oh my God. a jet tub, bathtub, grilling station, entertainment room, personal butler, and personal chef. Ooh. That's why it's worth one million per night. <laughs> <laughs> So they said it's 1,300 square meters in that villa. So if you multiply that by 10.2, what is that? Like 13,000, 14,000 square feet? That's nuts. Nuts. Nice. Unfortunately, I'm Justin Spencer, not Justin Bieber. So I wasn't actually able to go in there and see the actual 1 million pesos per night suite. Uh, he teased us and made us think we were going to see it. And then he said, unfortunately, sir, we can't do it right now. So yeah, that was that. <laughs> Instagram selfie heaven. It's like an extraterrestrial alien landing pad or something. What the heck? Uh, up, up, up we go. Up, up, up we go. There it is. Sweating my cojones off. That's what I was afraid of. My goodness. I think I'll make it though. <laughs> oh, thank you. Back in the air conditioning, thank God. Oh. 
This is nice. What is that? Wow. Check that out though. That's pretty epic. Yikes. Trippy. Golden ballroom, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh. Uh, function room for wedding, wow. for birthday and the boo, golden wedding, everybody. <laughs> it's very pretty. Yeah. My goodness. Look at the lamps. Look at that. Wow. Goodness gracious. The retreat spa. Okay, copy. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Whoa, this is amazing. Uh, six long time, so we have here at the bridge spa. So we have we like uh, so this is the atsu. If you want to go to swimming uh, for gym or for spa, you can this atsu. Nice. So once you check in, you can proceed here at the fitness center. We have fitness center. Yeah. Relaxation room, okay. Whoa, that's the sauna. Oh, we have a TV in there. Yeah, uh, a steam room, and I can actually film it because no one's in there. <laughs> That's the shower room, and I can show you because no one's here at the moment. Uh, this is for meditating. Uh, if you have a sleeping disorder, you can proceed here after the massage. Here, and then after the sounds, we have a way to the sleep. Well, that's very nice. Good afternoon. Good to see you. Hi, good afternoon. This place is really cool. Good to see you. <laughs> Head into the Cove, Manila. Sounded like I was introducing uh, the next Avengers movie or something. The Cove, Manila. Coming soon, literally. One so this one's one million per night. Let's got a got a date there tomorrow night for sure. Wonder what kind of business tycoon you have to be to justify one million tonight. Oil, maybe A-list movie star. What else? Real estate tycoon. Casino online gambling company founder, software as a service founder, a couple other ones come to mind. Going down. <laughs> oh, snap, that's cool. Whoa. Whoa, nice. Wow. Wow. Dude. That's cool. Woo, this place is big. It's like I'm inside a giant globe or sphere or something, and the music ahead. But 
Oh, there's like, I love the uh, the bar. The bar is where you can order drinks and just hang out at the pool and order drinks at the same time. Kind of makes me reminisce about Atlantis. But this is, this is cool. This is so well designed and developed. I love it. Oh yeah, this place is so crazy. Zeke. This place is so big, dude. You got places where you can order your food and your drinks. And uh, got some good tunes. Got some water, some agua. <laughs> Front door of the Cove Manila nightclub. Check that out. That entrance reminds me of something like Maleficent. Like Angelina Jolie designed that door. <laughs> That's crazy. It's crazy. Eerie. Crazy. Look at the floor. Wow. <laughs> So this is a shopping area, apparently. Yeah. Yep. Here, the delivery fee is good as cash. Once you exceed, you can pay cash or Yeah. Medley buffet. Yeah. Medley buffet. Medley buffet. Medley buffet. Medley buffet. Medley Pearl Wing Lobby. Check that out. Ceilings are so tall. Whoa. So we're proceeding at the crystal corridor. Let's see. Hello. The chapels. Whoa. That's awesome. And tomorrow we have Royal Bazaar. So it's all B-roll today, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I don't have that much to say. Don't really have too much coffee in my system. Not enough, I guess. But uh, yeah, this place is big. It's grand. Reminds me of Las Vegas. It's super nice. Way bigger than I thought it was. That's one thing I can tell you that surprised me. It's way bigger than I thought it was. Yeah, it just goes on and on. I could get lost in here in about five minutes or less. Get lost in here in about 30 seconds. But yeah, it's beautiful, expensive, high-end, lovely, aesthetically pleasing. So much to see here. Inside, uh, 
Starbucks, Randy's Donuts, they watch me at 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. Every hour we have two songs to play. Nice. The ceilings are higher than most major international airports that I've been into, or at the same height, I would say. But uh, yeah, super big. I keep saying the same things because it's all that comes to mind right now. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's a projector mat right there in the ceiling and it turns into like a mermaid or fish. Wow, that's so cool. A TGI Fridays, Japanese restaurant, Enbu. Gotcha. Okay, I asked JR, our tour guide, what the best place to go eat was, and he told me the Medley Buffet, so that's where we're on our way to go. The Medley Buffet, before Mia's stomach jumps out and uh, punches me right in the left eyeball. <laughs> what? <laughs> on our way to the Medley Buffet, JR, our tour guide, told us that that was the best place after I asked him. And now Mia's getting a little bit hot and bothered and hungry, so she's hungry, <laughs> that's what that means. So we're gonna head there now and uh, check it out, can't wait. Looks like we found it. Yes, please. <laughs> Doing a YouTube vlog, the medley. <laughs> okay. So it's uh, 2,000 per person? Yes. Okay. And that's 1,000, so okay. How about the last name, sir, for guest reference? Spencer. Mr. Spencer. Okay. Okay. What time is it now? It's like 1 30, 1 45? Okay, we got plenty of time. Cool. Okay, perfect. We're going to eat a lot. Oh, wow. This looks good. Right here? Perfect. Thank you. I appreciate it. Fish tempura, nice. Make a salad. Looks like they've got like a special grill for the pizza, or oven I mean. Those of you who got a sweet tooth got some dessert. Hi. Wow, that's so cool. It's amazing. Coolest looking desserts ever. Let's and pork, soy chicken. Looks like we got some Indian dishes over here. Oh my goodness, that looks really good. That's why it tastes amazing. Love it. Got some Korean food over here, I think. It's amazing. Ooh, it smells so good. Oh my gosh. It smells amazing. What'd you choose so far? Baby got some sushi. Moving too fast. <laughs> so, so far, I've had pork lechon, clams, uh, fried shrimp, sashimi, tuna. Sashimi salmon. They also have smoked salmon and smoked sashimi as well. They have so many different options here. It's wild. I had a chicken soy thing. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep it coming. Let you know everything's been spectacular so far, without a doubt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's something about Indian food and the Indian cuisine. It just packs such a punch. I had uh, 
lamb, fish, and two different types of chicken. One was a chicken tasala, the spicy curry. And uh, I also had like this mixed pickles thing and the yellow rice. Um, I forgot the name of it, but it's so good. So Indian cuisine here is fantastic. And uh, wow, my mouth is still full of the spicy stuff. So I'm gonna probably get some coffee and try some of the desserts. It's a little small sampling of each because there's so many and it looks so incredible. So I'm trying to figure out how to compartmentalize the space I have left in my stomach. <laughs> So this is a pistachio thing right here. I don't even know what this purple thing is. Those are like Oreos, two different flavors of like a, one Oreo. This is a churzo. This is a lava cake in a coffee mug thing. What did Mia get? Mia got the, is that dragon fruit? Dragon fruit. And then I don't know, that's like strawberry something in a glass cup. We only took like, we're only sampling like 25% of the options. It's really hard to decide what desserts to go with. Kind of like everything in here, it's hard to decide what to go with because everything in here, like the desserts and all the different the cuisine types are so uh, pleasing to the eye. I'm like just trying as many things as possible. So yeah, that's my goal here. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate it. <laughs> The desserts definitely tasted as good as they looked. I think the pistachio and the uh, the churro roll is my favorite for sure. Chocolate lava cake was super good. They were all like incredible, so yeah. Okay, and that's it for Okada Manila today. The buffet was great, the tour was great, and I'm glad we got a chance to check this place out. We saw multiple places, and uh, yeah, it was fun. I definitely recommend it for sure. Good experience.